Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's September the 9th, 2022. Where is September going? We've already gone through nine days of it. Uh, this month is just flying by. Today, I'm going to show you all the mail that showed up this week. And this week was only a four-day mail week here because Monday was Labor Day. So it was a holiday. There was no mail to be delivered. Um, so that's kind of cool that uh, all this showed up. I think there's 21 pieces. Three of them are registered and the rest are friend mails and swaps and things like that. So um, that's great. I'm going to show you that. But first, I want to touch on something. If you watched yesterday's video about me going out and running errands, uh, and of course with the sad news of the Queen passing away, uh, you can see that it uh, kind of hit me a little bit. I wasn't expecting it. Um, and so I was talking back and forth with friends and reading posts, and then uh, I got talking and communicating with Basil in India, and he suggested that I do a collective video again. So if you've been on the channel for a while now, maybe you've seen my uh, post boxes and mailboxes of the world video that were a collaboration with all of you guys as subscribers who sent um, pictures in or video clips in, and I was able to create a video about that. That's what I want to do. Um, that's... Uh, a suggestion that Basil had for me and I think it was a great suggestion. Uh, so I've mulled it over throughout the night and thought about what I wanted to do. This is going to be a short turnaround video. So the ones that were post boxes and mailboxes, I think I did them over like two months that I gave lots of time for people to respond and uh, I don't want to do that. I want to do it over 10 days. So when the Queen has her funeral, that's when I want to uh, put up this video. And what I'm suggesting is that you guys send me, I have my link down below my email, robertlennox at gmail.com. Uh, send to me a uh, picture or a video, uh, videos no longer than a minute. I, would, I don't, want, don't want people to <laughs> go on for four and five minutes on the video because I don't want it to go that long. But I, w I would like you to uh, tell me where you're from. And uh, that's it. You don't have to tell me your name or anything if you don't want to. If you're doing a video, you're more than welcome to introduce yourself. But just let me know what country you represent. So if you send me a picture, make sure in the email you put your country on it so I can attach that when I go through. And what I'm looking for is things that are memorable to you about the Queen. So I'm not looking just for... Uh, you can, if you want to take a picture of or a video of the local newspaper today that uh, shows how your country is reacting to the Queen's passing, you can more than welcome to do that. But you could also send in your maybe your favorite stamps that have uh, the Queen on them, uh, favorite postcards that have the Queen on them, uh, maybe it's a teacup that you have, or a hand towel. Her image has been on everything over the last 70 years, and there might be something that you have in your collection or in your home that is memorable of the Queen. And I'd like to see it. So you can tell me a story about it. If you're doing a video, you're more than welcome to say, well, the time I met the queen, if that's what happened to you, or um, I remember on this day what the queen was doing, or um, I got this souvenir when I was in England, maybe. Who knows what your story is? And I don't know. So that's why I'm, I want to hear about it. And I think other people like to hear about it too. So the Queen's impact hasn't just been on Commonwealth countries. There are many nations that are sad that she has passed away. And uh, she's been a world leader for 70 years and uh, done an exceptional job in that. So send me a picture or a video of uh, things that are important to you that are represented by the Queen. So like I said, it can be stamps, it can be postcards, it can be uh, kitchenware. <laughs> Uh, whatever it, it may be, go for it. Newspapers, articles, uh, books. I don't know. Maybe you've got a, a signed copy by Queen Elizabeth II. I don't have one of those, but uh, maybe they're out there somewhere. So that's what I'm asking. And that's my plea today is share this with as many people as you know and uh, might be interested in doing this and participating. Uh, I know that's the only way that those videos in the past worked was that you guys got actively involved, you participated, and you shared with all your friends on different groups that you're into, and then they, in turn, uh, helped out as well. So I don't want this to be a uh, solemn thing. I want it to be a celebration of life uh, for her 96 years, um, not a uh, sadness video of her no longer being here. Uh, so we want to uh, lift up the spirits. Yesterday was such a sad day having her pass, and I'm sure over the next 10 days, there'll be all sorts of things that will be sad as well. But on that 10th day, when uh, she is laid to rest, 
uh, I want to be able to put this video out as a celebration of life. So if you're interested, email me, robertlennox at gmail.com with uh, what you want to help out with. I'd be perfect. All right, let's get on to today's things. We'll start with the registered cards, which I have three of them that came in. First one is this one here, postcards and cards of the world. You've got uh, all the different, not all of them, but a bunch of different countries that are here. And uh, this card comes from China. And uh, she say her name is Fish and she's 31 years old. She's studying in Shanghai. And what I really want to show you on the back too, I mean, show you the stamps. The stamps are really cool. And kind of a dragon getting ready for probably a, a New Year's party or something here. And the kids in that one. But look at the uh, cancellation mark. Love it. So thank you, Fish, for sending that. The next card comes from Russia. It's a blue cat card. So we've got a blue cat in a bicycle race and everybody cheering on along the side. Um, it says... Uh, she is uh, in school and it's only five minutes from her home. So it was very good. Uh, and she says she's only 15 minutes away from uh, Moscow. So let me show you the stamps on the back. So we've got one of the common ones there, but then look at that big one there, these ones. Such variety, I'm so glad. She's got all that. She's decorated it very nicely too without showing addresses and things. She put stickers and washi on it. So thank you for that. Now, the last official one I have comes from the United States. Got this black and white of New York City. The Empire State, uh, Empire State Building there. And uh, this comes from Danny, who is originally from Malaysia, but lives in the United States now. So he sent that. He says he's a stamp collector. He sent a few different stamps there. It's too bad the cancellation mark is so strong on there, it kind of takes away from the stamps. But thank you, Danny, for that. Uh, all right, let's get into regular mail. Now, some of these have... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to reuse some stickers here. There we go. All right. So this one comes from our friend Renee Lewis, who's in uh, Arkansas, but her son lives in California. So that's why she sent this state flag of California postcard to me. And um, it just kind of goes on a little bit about me dropping off my son or my daughter at university for the first time and what it was like for her to do the same thing with her son. Um, it is tough and uh, continues to be tough, but we'll get through it. And I know my daughter's having a great time. So thank you, Renee, for that. There, she's got the forever stamp and a butterfly on there. And the nice temperature, it was 33 degrees at the time. It is not that warm here now. Um, it is going to be nice today, though. It's going up to 26 maybe today, and then it's going to be 29 or something tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be really nice. We're back being nice again. All right. So thank you for Renee for that. If you haven't checked out Renee's channel, do so. She's got a great YouTube channel as well. All right. This next one comes from Media in Finland. She went to a museum, and this is... One of the exhibits that was there i want to show you on the back look at this christmas stamp i'm not sure if this is a new stamp that's come out but i haven't seen it before so i'm guessing that it might be a new stamp with santa there and his reindeers and the aurora borealis i really love this stamp so thank you media for sending that and the cancellation mark it was 24 when she sent it i know she's saying that uh, in finland now it's actually cooled off quite a bit so uh I'm glad that on the day she sent that, on the 28th of August, it was still quite nice. All right, the next one is from Smokey in Wisconsin. And if you guys are watching his new channel, he is Snail Mail with Smokey, and this is his logo. So he has created some postcards for it. Uh, he's also got his own stamp. So he's doing very well. He's marketing himself, which is perfect. So go check out Smokey's channel. So uh, I also want to show you the stamps on there. He is a very knowledgeable stamp collector, and uh, so he does some videos on stamps as well that are a lot more in-depth than the videos that I do on stamps. I do a broad version, and he does a more in-depth one. So two different styles, but uh, both great. We got a little pouring up there. So thank you, Smokey, for that. Da, da, da. All right. The next one 
comes from Kimberly in the United States. Look at this funny one here. We've got like a three musketeer type look with uh, this dog uh, looking a little foolish. And uh, so Kimberly on the back was thanking me for, um, or saying congratulations for getting the ambassador badge for post crossing, which she was one of the ones that encouraged me to go out there and do it after I was written up in the newspaper. So it's uh, because of people like you, Kim, that uh, I got that and that I get to do what I'm doing. So thank you for watching and, and participating. Here are the stamps. We've got Bart Simpson all the way to Superman and everything in between. Very nice. Thank you. All right. The next one comes from Judy. And Judy is in Florida. And her and her husband came to the Maritimes this summer. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to meet each other because uh, she didn't have a phone plan that... Uh, would let her call while she was in Canada to touch base with me, but uh, she said she had a good time and hoping she'll come back again next summer and explore a bit more. But this is the ferry that goes from Nova Scotia back to Maine, and uh, so her and her husband got on that and went back. They had a lovely time where they stayed. Here are the stamps that she has. So thank you, Judy, for um, coming to the country, coming to the area. I love when people come to visit the, the Maritimes here in Atlantic Canada. So. Uh, Come on back again, bring your friends, bring more people, and uh, hopefully it'll work out next time you'll have a phone plan and you can touch base with me and we can uh, talk when you get here. All right, the next one comes from Kyler in Prince Edward Island. And uh, this is Rainbow Valley Park in Cavendish, PEI. Uh, it was it used to be a really big kind of a theme park you could go to, it had lots of good memories. This is a, a vintage one here of it. So an older card, he thought he'd send that to me. And there's the carousel stamp he's used this time to mail. So thank you, Kyler. Okay. This one is a happy hedgehog. Love it. Uh, she says she didn't know that many people had hedgehogs as pets. Well, as you know, I do. Polo was my pet hedgehog. So thank you for doing this one. This was an uh, angel found me through... Uh, I think through Instagram I reached out to do a swap. There are the stamps from Taiwan. She was kind enough to do it twice. So look, there's another one she sent, a mailbox. Because they no longer use mailboxes like this now. They're more the red and green ones that they have in Thailand. There are the stamps and the washi tape she's got on there. She's decorated it nicely. So thank you for those cards, and I will get something back to you. All right, this next one comes from Kathy in Ontario here in Canada. It is a card from Florida and uh, some shark teeth that she had when she went on a visit uh, pre-pandemic. So she thought she would mix things up in the cards that she was sending me and send me this one too. So that's very cool. And she also has put one of the carousel stamps on it. Carousel stamps, if you don't know, there's five of them that are out there that represent uh, amusement parks from across Canada and uh, the merry-go-rounds that are on them. So, All right. This is, an, this is a, okay. Kara in Oregon sent me postcards, and she's been swapping back and forth. Three of them arrived this week, but the funny thing about the three is this one arrived. Uh, this is post-crossing life, got everything to do with... Uh, writing cards in the mail and love it mailboxes and so has that but when she's talking about the back I started reading about it was talking about her son uh, it's kind of sad to see a school come to an end and uh, that uh, he'll miss his friends and things and I had to look at the date it was mailed June the 12th so it took almost three months to get here although she sent two other cards at the end of August and they're both here already so this card she sent, this was mailed on August 27th. Uh, so we have this kind of a playground. The kids can slide down the handle handle of the wagon, all sorts of fun things there. This is the Childhood Express in Spokane, Washington. And there's the forever stamp she used. And then this one arrived today, which was mailed on August 28th. So August 28th, August 27th arrived within 10 days. The June 12th one took three months to get here. I don't know where it went, but uh, it took some time along the way. So we have this one here of the uh, Space Needle in Seattle. 
uh, fond memories of that when I lived in Vancouver. We used to go down to Seattle to see baseball games and football games and uh, just enjoy the sights. Like it wasn't too far away. There's the forever stamp that she's used and a little hedgehog sticker. So thank you, Kara, for all three of those. And uh, if you had been wondering what happened to that one that you sent in June, it's finally arrived. I don't know where it went, but it's finally here. So thank you for all those cards. All right, the next card comes from Jilly B, living her life her way. And uh, she's another YouTuber. You want to go check her out. Uh, she has uh, interesting content as well, both stamps and postcards. Uh, this is a fall postcard that she sent to me. So in this video alone, I've had three different YouTubers that uh, send cards and we all swap back regularly. So you want to go check out their channels and subscribe. And if you want to see where some of my cards end up, sometimes they end up on their channels. So you'll get to see um, their final destinations. So go ahead and do that. This here are the stamps that she sent, the cat and the superhero. And we've got the uh, Britain Ukrainian loves stickers there decorates nicely with all her washi tape and stickers so thank you Jilly for that. Jilly wasn't done though she sent me an envelope this week as well. There we have some of the gay pride stickers and another cat or stamp and these are the cat stamps and some more stickers that she got over there including more Ukraine love. So that's fantastic. Inside she sent me some postcards so we have some more blank postcards to send out that she had found in some of her shopping hauls. We have some Harry Potter cards, which is kind of nice. I've been using some of the other ones that had been given to me, so it's nice to have some new ones to add back into the collection. And then we have the one this year from the Commonwealth Games. So thank you, J Jilly, again for all your generosity. Uh, the next one actually comes from Wendy here in Moncton. Uh, she said you didn't have to show these cards that she got because she sent me some postcards, but I wanted to show them again. They said there's some duplicates of ones that I've shown before. And um, when I have shown them before, people really enjoyed them. So I'm gonna show them again for those that have missed them. So here are the Chinese uh, stamps that were sent, Chinese Canadian stamps. So she was up in Fredericton not too long ago with my father-in-law. And so she found some postcards from Fredericton. That's true. I have had these ones before that she's gotten for me. But the colors are very nice. Especially this one. So I wanted to uh, give her props and thank her for doing that. Okay. The next one is a real shock. This one comes from Germany. This comes from Steffi. All the stamps are on there, and I was not expecting this. This was a, definitely a surprise mail one that came through. And uh, I'm gonna show you, maybe I'm not gonna show you. There you go, there's your tease. I'll show you this one in another video, I'll put it over here for right now. The next one comes from Petra in the UK, so we have this envelope. Some nice stamps on it. Look at the poor puppy in the bathtub. He looks so sad. Inside that, she sent this card, which she translated to say, uh, you can't stop the waves, but you can ride them or something to that effect. It's a very nice sentiment to know that uh, uh, you can let uh, life crash over you or you can Get on board and ride life to its fullest so it's kind of a nice sentiment at least that's how i take it and then this card with the merry-go-round the carousel as we kind of talked about before i thought this was interesting she wrapped them up and this is a magazine this is a lego magazine these are all uh, the teachers in harry potter all the different characters that you could get if you've gone through all the sets and it was kind of out of kids magazine so uh, these are some of the games that you can play too. So that's kind of cool. I really like how she decorated that and uh, did it up. So thank you, Petra, for that. Petra wasn't done though. She sent another one. And it's got the new Transformer stamps on it. And she's matched the two together so you get the full image. So there you got Bumblebee and Starscream going at it. 
brings back big memories of uh, childhood watching the Transformers and playing with the toys. So in that she has included this card, which she said she actually got in Canada. It's uh, Algonquin Park in Ontario. So she was here in 1997 and got a chance and she bought this card and she still had it. So she turned around and sent it to me. So how kind of her to think of me and send that back. And for those of you who like to see moose, there's a mama and her two little ones trailing along in the waterway. Wasn't done. Inside that envelope, we've got some stickers. So she knows I am a big Yankees fan. So we've got here some of kind of the retro Yankees logo. My brother used to have a jacket growing up and it had that logo on it. So it kind of reminds me more of an 80s Yankees logo. You don't see them nearly as much. We've got the pinstriped Yankees. These are all stickers, so I'll be able to adorn other envelopes and things with them. And then finally, we have all these of the Yankees, which I'm very pleased to, that the Yankees are back doing better again. I'm watching Aaron Judge and his attempt to uh, break Roger Maris's 61 home runs in the season. He's at 55 at the time of this video. So he's getting there. He's close. Hopefully he can do it. It'll be some excitement for baseball for him to do that. I'm also watching Albert Pujols um, in his retirement year in uh, St. Louis to see if he's going to get to 700 home runs. I think he's only about five shy of that away too. So both of them are very exciting to watch. So thank you, Petra, for uh, this and for this and everything that's inside of it. Really appreciate it. It uh, brings me great joy to get mail from you and uh, all the stuff that uh, you put in the, in the effort you put to, to make it personal for me. So thank you for that. And thank you to everybody else who has sent cards, um, responded um, to swaps that we've been doing, and to my, uh, my official ones as well. It's nice to keep getting those. Last week when I did my video, it had been two weeks, but I had gotten so many official ones in. It was a record for me. So I'm glad with that. Um, this week I have uh, to finish getting caught up on last week's mail. And then this weekend I've got to get this week's mail caught up. So I've got a lot of cards ahead to write. I'm going to continue with them right after I get this video out today. So we'll get a few uh, postcards done. Uh, I've got my list back here of the ones that I want to finish up for last week. I have one parcel I've got to do to get out to one of you. Uh, so that will be done. And finally, I'm going to get one more plug in. Make sure if you're interested in helping out about the Queen's Celebration of Life video that you uh, get a uh, picture or video in email to me at robertlennox at gmail.com with your country on it. And then uh, I can get that all put together and, and out in a timely fashion. So uh, I hope there are many countries will participate and it will be a great uh, celebration. Uh, I'm looking forward to that uh, after uh, wallowing in some of the sorrows. It's nice to be thinking of something positive about the life of the Queen too now going forward. So for that, you guys have a magical week. What follow? You say like, subscribe, share and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?